Cruiserweight title fight between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. It took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Masvidal is one year the elder. Diaz will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, presenting the challenger, Nate. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Ready? Ready? All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Nice punch by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Inside leg kick lands. The overhand left is true. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Gainbridge. Landing a good series of strikes here. Oh! And busy as he looks to improve position here. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. 
He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. He, he landed a left hand there. The ground strikes starting to pile up. And he establishes full mount. Big shot. He postures into place. Under three minutes now to go on the round. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. So here's the proud rep of the 209, Stockton, California zone, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nate Diaz. Had a lot of big moments in the UFC, but of course none bigger than the submission win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. And now the big paydays have started to follow, rightfully so, for a guy who has one of the bigger fan bases of anyone on this UFC roster. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan, the UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. Masvidal is one year his senior, Diaz. All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champion. Just out of range with that right hand. Right hand upstairs. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Diaz. Oh, he connects there. Blocks the shot. Game Brett gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him off. They're going after it quick here. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Jorge Game Brett Masvidal. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he oh. looked like it. Oh! He's, he's hurt. These are some bombs he is throwing. Half guard here. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Nice sweep right into half guard. All right, hammer fist here by Diaz. He's looking for a guillotine choke. The tight guillotine, that is a tight guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Punch there. Good shots by the champion. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open. 
open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes. Oh! Just over three minutes to go, round one. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there Dang from it. the... stances here. Effective punch there by Gainbrick. Oh! This could be it! Man has hit his chin been tested early. Trying to stay in this fight! He's got double underhooks, Joe. Gainbrick gets the tie clinch here. Nice punch in the clinch. Nasty combinations here. Big body shot, shot. body. Oh, huge shot there. Oh, big kick. And the chance of Diaz ring through the crowd. Both guys landing with conviction now. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Head kick. Oh, he got back with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice defense there. Huge block. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Here's a single attempt. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, strong punch there by Diaz. He's getting off some very nice grounded pound here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. Trying to establish that jab once again. How about that chin? Oh, he is hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Powerful left hand. Body kick. Look at Back that. and forth we go. Hurt him with that overhand. Oh, big left hand. He's got one here. He's in a lot of trouble. Beautiful takedown by Nate Diaz. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Found the home for that left hand. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Diaz. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. He gets tagged again. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from Masvidal. Yeah, that knockdown Listen. should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's check that out from a different angle. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. things where you're just wondering oh, oh you heard him big shots oh oh head kick the champ is rocked he's in deep trouble he's trying to hang on and keep his title oh, he's out. Oh. beautiful 
beautiful shot to end the fight here. Outstanding knockout. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Let's take a look at it again from a different angle. Look at the power in this right hand as it... Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop in this contest at 42 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC welterweight champion of the world, Jorge. You gotta get it. They had it in school. All right, here we go. This should be good. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC's welterweight champ. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. So the distance closes here. They will clinch her. Makes it in some shoulder strikes there. Lands to the body there. Double underhooks in the clinch. First takedown attempt is there. Tags him with the left, Joe. He's posturing up here. Diaz getting worked to the body here on the ground. It was the elbow there. He didn't think that would be the strike coming. And he paid tags him. Beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Nice punch there by Gamebrick. Oh, good punches from the top here. Huge block there. Change it to the southpaw stance now, Joe. Oh, he's got him hurt here. fight. Let's see it one more time. Look at the power in this hook as it lands for the knockout. Check out this angle here. Bam! Nighty night. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buff. Here we go, UFC welterweight championship is up for grabs right now. Trying to double up on that jab. Going after it here. Effective strike there by Gamebrick. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. We got a fight, folks. Oh! 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 We need to get out of there. Let's go. Do something. Oh, how did that not cut him open? Postures up. Huge elbow from the top. Diaz gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow doing most of the damage there. Big body shot. shot. To body. Oh, another on. elbow. Let's go. Do something. He's softening him up with elbows. He is getting off some huge punches here. Nice punch by Diaz. He's doing a great job of ground. That's it! That's it! defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Immediately shoots for the leg. Diaz gets in a clinch here early, Joe. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Clean 
punch. Oh, he gets reversed. He's got side control. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Lands oh, a big elbow man. there. That is rough. Oh, big shot from the top. Goes upstairs for an elbow. That's it, he's out, he's unbelievable. Wow. 